For this 5-Minute Friday, we're going to talk about the Reviews module inside of Autodesk Docs. You can also find this under Build and Takeoff. In Docs, you can see that we can create and edit approval workflows, review and approve files, and export a reviews report. So with that said, we're going to go to the Settings tab under Reviews and talk about how we create an approval workflow. We can have multiple approval workflows. They can be in draft mode. We can edit them later on if we need to and continue to work on those workflows. For now, we're just going to create a new workflow. You can see we have a bunch of different templates that we can start with. One step, two step approvals, three step approvals, and so on. You can also have group approvals where multiple people are reviewing files and multiple people have the, the right to initiate and review those files and approve them. For today's uh, topic, we're going to talk about two-step approvals. So you see, once you select an approval template, it'll show you a little bit about that default workflow. So it'll go to initial review and then a final reviewer. And then this would be the example of a group approval workflow. So let's go back to our two-step approval. Select the next button. And now you just have to give your approval a name. So for this approval workflow, we're going to name it just a simple two-step approval. But this could be more complex if you like. Add a bit of a description. And after that, you'll see that we have the steps area where we can begin um, setting up this template. So you can see we can set the initiator as a user. We can also define it as a role or a company, similar to all the permissions we've seen in Autodesk uh, Docs to date. The initial review can be a multiple reviewer or just a single reviewer. So if you do multiple, then you can select them right here as well. So we'll set the number of reviewers and the number of days that um, it'll be allowed to, uh, to take to review the files. You also have an approver there if you want a final approval from another user. And here we can just set the review status. So when the reviewer is accessing the files, they'll have the option to approve, reject, or um, approve with comments, as well as add any additional review statuses that they wish. Upon the final review and the approval, you can choose what to do with the files. So any files that have been approved will get copied to a folder directory. And you can see here if that folder has not been created inside of Docs yet, you'll have to go back into the files portion of Docs to create that folder. So we'll save this as a draft, jump back to the files section and create a new subfolder inside of here called Approved Files. And with that done, we can jump back to Reviews, go to our Settings tab on the far right, go to our Draft Approval Workflows, and select our Draft Workflow. Scrolling down here as well, you can update um, these files so when they are approved, they will have attributes added to them if you wish and those attributes are searchable and viewable under the files section um, along with defining whether you want the single file to be moved or the all files even if one file is um, reviewed and approved. Here we can add custom attributes if we wish. And we won't really talk about that right now, but you could just select the Add Attributes button and do so as you wish. Add a custom note at the bottom and save this uh, draft. Now, I'm not able to finalize the workflow up here because I did forget one important step, and that was to actually set the overall approver. So we have the initiator, uh, the initial review, and then the final approval and who will that person be. And after we set that up, then we can finalize the draft workflow. 
And now what we're ready to do is create an actual review. And we'll do that in our next video. Thank you.